Hello and welcome to Detroit Performs. I'm your host, DJ Oliver, and today I'm at a cultural gym in the Metro Detroit community, the Northville Art House, which hosts shows that feature prominent Detroit area artists. They also hold classes where talented teachers instruct people of all ages in the arts. Our first segment illustrates the unique experience that is community arts. Petra Cuppers is a performance artist and disability culture activist who thrives in community art. Getting ourselves all up and running and playing a little bit with levels to so see if you can reach high up. Art is a transformation of the everyday into something else and it's so much richer to me when it's in dialogue and in contact with other artists. I was born an artist. <laughs> I think everybody I know was born as an artist. I don't think there's any people who wasn't born as an artist. Some of us get it worked out of us, but all of us have great creative potential. When I wanted to train as an artist, as a professional artist, I wanted to be a choreographer. But I was disabled. I didn't have four sound limbs. I couldn't get a doctor to write me a certificate saying I had four sound limbs. And without that certificate, I couldn't even apply to dance school. I wanted to go to a particular German dance school and there was no way to get in. So from very early on, I knew that I had to find my own path. I was born in Germany. I grew up there uh, in a very tiny village and I left when I was 24 years old. I moved to the US because of the American with Disabilities Act because this is the, one of the very few places in the world that would give someone like me the opportunity to have a rich professional life. So I can be an artist, a dance artist, and a professor. Here, I would not be able to do that in the country I was born in. I do believe that dance is for everybody, and I do think that dance is about celebrating our bodies and our body minds. So for me, that meant that I, I was always attracted to the differences of people moving. And right now, just start walking. Walking. We're just walking. We're just walking amongst ourselves. Just explore the feeling of the beautiful Mali between, beneath your feet. I'm a choreographer who believes in the power of difference and in the power of communal activity. I often work with people who have very limited mobility and I do not expect or assume that people who come through the door and who want to work with me have a lot of mobility. And you move at whichever speed is right for you, what's good for your balance, what's good for your way of feeling safe in this space. But what we're training ourselves instead is to think about presence. That is the core of my choreography now. Enabling people to be present, to find a time to stop in the flow of everyday movement and to just step into themselves in that moment. And then, once you've explored edges, textures, meetings of skin and building, find yourself a refuge in this space and involve yourself with it in your whole body. Find a place to be in this building. What inspires my art is a love of people, a love of the beauty of people finding themselves and taking a moment out of the everyday, engaging in artful behaviors together. Hold on to some of the images that you just heard your own line, another line, and we're going to create a form of social sculpture together. To close. The Olympias is an artist collective, so all of us work together. Stephanie Haidt, my collaborator and myself, run an asylum project workshop. The asylum project emerged out of an inquiry about institutions and about spaces of sanctuary and safety and violence, right? We're just running workshops in very different sites, always with some kind of leaning into the sites that we're in and exploring what asylum means to us. As a community artist, you, you make peace with the fact that you have no idea what's going to happen in the room. You just hold the space in the room and people will bring to the space and take from the space what they need at that point. Uh, some people might need some deep creative engagement and might write something or find a way of moving in their body that can be really satisfying and that might be the root of something that they then take on and, and work with more in their life. 
but quite a few people will really just come and just take that little bubble in everyday space and just hang out. And that seems so important to me. Normally in Olympia's actions, there isn't really an audience position. We don't have an auditorium where people can watch us. You kind of step into it and you do it. And all of us have experiences of disability, if not in our own bodies, then in the bodies of loved ones. You know, there really is nobody who's not touched by disability in some way or the other. So exploring how our differences can be enriching is useful to everybody. We find when we do this in many different places, different countries, sometimes with school groups, sometimes in community settings, that people bring very different meanings to terms like asylum, sanctuary, refuge, some negative meanings, some positive meanings. I still see myself predominantly as a dance artist, but I've always been attracted to poetry as a modality that I could engage in when I was in a lot of pain, when I couldn't do the full out movement work. I could be at home, I could be with words, I enjoy what happens when words and bodies slide by one another. I enjoy the openings that happen when words blossom up, when something new happens with words. And that's for me at the heart of poetry. The moss green sweater, the navel, an opening into a new world. My partner now, Stephanie, is also a poet. So we write together and we use poetry as a modality to explore our ways of being in the world. My latest book is called Pearl Stitch. The cover photo um, shows a woman sticking out her tongue and the tongue is covered with a lace stocking. I'm citing many, many women in this, in this work and I, I play with the, the conventions and the forms that, that come out of that heritage. I think uh, performing poetry is a good entry back into community. So there's something about the privacy of the page, working with the page, oftentimes transforming communal experience into private language. And then you perform it and it just opens right up again. It's wonderful to perform poetry live, either in a slam environment or in a single poetry reading. Either of those forms, I think, are really rich ways of connecting people to the fact that words can mean otherwise. You know, the world can be otherwise. We don't have to live in the world that we're in. We can envisage things anew, and words help us to do that. And just let's close with a song. And this is a song without words. This is a song reaching into the vibrations of the space. I'm so happy to be an artist. <laughs> it's nothing better than being an artist. I love being in connection with other people. I love being engaged in the transformation of this world. As a disability artist, I have seen how the world can change. You can learn more about pet recovers on DetroitPerforms.org.